Hi everyone, it's Cooking Otaku here. Uh, I want to do a little something different. I'm going to start reviewing some uh, Japanese snacks that I pick up uh, here and there that I would hopefully you guys will be interested in, haven't seen before, or anything of that nature. Uh, today will be umaibo, uh, one of my favorite snacks actually, because it's just like uh, a giant Cheeto. That's about the only way I can really describe it. And today I have six flavors for us to go through. So let's go out with, uh, let's just go out. We're going on a date. Come on, let's go out. We're going to start with the cheese flavored one. This one here in the gray package, as you can see. Nice and my bowl package. Easy to tear. Ooh. And my bowl is, yeah, basically a giant Cheeto with the hole in the middle. It's uh, very strong smelling. This is definitely a cheddar smell with these. Uh, crunchiness. As you can see, it's definitely crunchy. Just like a Cheeto, you can see. You can see right there. I'm not going to eat the whole thing now. That's just horrible to eat on camera. But. It tastes wonderful. It's um, definitely the best one to start with if you want to start out with oh, oh my bow type. Start with the cheese, nothing funky or anything of that nature. <clears throat> it seems like it's a uh, very good alternative to Cheetos. It's actually got on most of these a little bit of an oily aftertaste. I don't really actually taste. I want to say texture. A little bit of an oily texture. It's, it's like it uh, coats your mouth a little bit. So, uh, might want to look out for that. But other than that, it seems to be uh, pretty good. I really, really like that one. That's actually one of my favorites. It's just the cheese. Kind of a simple man myself. Moving on, pizza. Yes, pizza flavor. As you can see, the Umaibu is eating the hot pizza. And we also have the uh, Italian, green, white, and red here. Just so you know, it's from Italy. You don't know where pizza comes from. Uh, let's take a look at it. Take a smell on a gander. And as you can see, it's definitely, definitely a different color on this one. You can see little flakes and stuff here. It's got some uh, herbs on it. it. Smells very herby. I wouldn't call it a pizza herb. But I'm not sure what herb that is. I'll figure it out. Either way, it's not, uh, I, don't know, I don't know, not as pleasant as pizza smell. Let's see, it's just on the outside. And to me, it doesn't taste like a pizza at all. It's got that herbiness. That you might be able to find in some of the crust, but as for the cheese part, it's pretty basic cheese. Uh, herbs are very powerful in this. That'll definitely coat your mouth completely. Uh, if you like herb pizza, you're good to go on this one. Go for it. Moving on. Oh, and by the way, the flavors get kind of funky from here on in. So now we have, <coughs> excuse me, herbs. Salad or vegetable flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think too. Yeah, this is supposed to taste like a salad or a vegetable plate or something of that nature. Because it's green, you know, vegetables are green. But uh, I'll tell you one thing, it's not healthy for you. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> so let's dive right in. And, uh, oh, look at that. It's the same color. And also it's got a lot of herbs and stuff on it as well. Uh, it's got a pleasant smell to it. Uh, I don't know what the smell is. It's not really a vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. I don't know. It's a nice, li nice light smell. And actually, the flavoring is very good. 
on it. It's actually uh, quite surprising. It's uh, not as powerful as some of the other ones. It's uh, light. Texture is obviously the same. But uh, if you don't like powerful flavors, but you still want to try these, I would try. I would try this one. I would try the the vegetable. Vegetable humibo. All right, moving on. By the way, this is going to taste really funny afterwards. Moving on, we have bam takoyaki flavor. That's right, octopus balls. Yummy, yummy octopus balls. I so have a hard time calling it that. It's takoyaki. Learn the Japanese, it'll sound a lot tastier when you try to explain it to other people. And this one, I think it's orange? Do you think it's orange? No. This is brown. Look at this thing. Look at that. That is some, uh, yeah, you think it's burnt. But it's got that, uh, it's got a wonderful, wonderful smell. If you've had takoyaki and had the, uh, the takoyaki sauce that's on it, this is mainly what it kind of smells like. And obviously it seems like it's been drenched in it because it's about the same color. But it's got all the other herbs and stuff you put on takoyaki. Does it taste like it? Not as much as it should. It's good. It's a powerful flavor. What you smell is definitely what you're going to taste in this. And uh, it's still good overall. I mean, I definitely like it. But, whew. <laughs> that one will clear a room. Okay. Now, these last two here that I have are the number one and number two of Japan from a ranking I saw somewhere I don't know how long ago. It's probably still valid for this. Um, so number two flavor in Japan Mintai or fish eggs. Oh I know, I know, you're just drooling at the mouth for this one. Do you really want a fish egg flavored Cheeto? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. You don't know how much you do, but you do. And, oh, and it's a nice orange flavor. Actually, just like the fish egg rose that you would get. So this is kind of the yeah, way it should be. It doesn't have a fishy smell offhand. I could be completely wrong. But I don't really smell a fish smell, but it's definitely, I would guess fish, but it's not that disgusting fishy smell. Well, number two in Japan, huh? It's an acquired taste. Um, closest thing I could link it to here would be bad uh, barbecue Lay's chips. Yeah, I would have thrown those out. Yeah, well, anyways, the number one flavor of umaibo in Japan is just going to be kind of shocking. Corn porridge. Corn is an exotic flavor <laughs> to people in Japan. And I guess corn porridge is a, is a staple kind of comfort food. And they put it in the flavor of a Cheeto. So, yeah. Good times have to be had. 
And this one is a nice light color. Basically what the original Maibo probably looks like when it comes out of the factory before it gets all uh, flavor induced. But it's, mm, that's sweet. It smells very sweet, not corn-like. I mean, maybe, maybe sweet corn, but more sweet than corn. It smells like. I feel like it's a cigar. Mmm, yes, this is a very good vintage. Mmm, is that Cuban? Mmm. No, oh, no, 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 that's domestic. Yes. Mm. But. No, it's actually not as bad as you think it is. It's uh, very sweet. Taste uh, kind of tastes like corn. You can definitely taste it if you're looking for it. Uh, the porridge part is definitely actually in there because it actually feels kind of creamy. Uh, the aftertaste does, and the texture. So I'm not sure how they did that when this thing is completely dry. I don't know. Maybe they got a Tip from uh, Starburst. I don't know. <laughs> Won't go into that, but anyways, it's uh, the six flavors that I have over my boat. There are some other ones out there that you can uh, look up on the net that have been either discontinued uh, or a limited time run. I know I've tried two other flavors that I couldn't get a hold of right now. One is shrimp and mayonnaise, which actually is really good, especially if you do like to dip your shrimp in mayonnaise or uh, tartar sauce. I can't even think of the name of it. It's That one tastes just like you think it's going to taste when it comes to shrimp and mayonnaise. It's actually quite good. And the other one was teriyaki burger. I was able to try at one point and that one was actually really good too. It had a good smell and a good uh, strong flavor to it. One thing about Japanese snacks is that they do have uh, great smells, um, textures, the whole nine yards. They love food so much and the entire balance of food. So I'll be reviewing a lot more of these snacks uh, sometime in the future. And I hope you guys will turn in, uh, tune in to, for this. If uh, you guys want me to review anything special that you've been able to see or anything, or you know, if you want to send me snacks, I'm fine with that too. Um, You'll see a link uh, somewhere later on in this program because I'm new to this, and you can tell. Thanks, everyone. Dozo, eat and enjoy.